Welcome back to Memoria. We are helplessly uh, waiting in the clearing. I just had to look up some solutions. I am so sorry. I just wouldn't have found out by myself. I, I really wouldn't have. Now that I know what to do next, the next couple of steps, I know I wouldn't have. So, this wine jar... Can we not find out information about this? How can we find out about that? I thought we can get some information about these. Or do we have to... No, that's not what I said. Anyways, the wine jar is apparently empty. I thought there was wine in there. That's why we weren't able to give wine to Giacomo before. Because I thought there was already wine in there and it, it, there wasn't. So that was just my mistake. <laughs> like everything else as well. So we have to go back to the pub, to the inn, and then see what we can do. So I really hope that you forgive me for, well, cheating basically, but I really wouldn't have come to this conclusion seriously, because this was just a flaw in my thinking. Okay, so we've got this wine jar here, the wine barrel here. And we're Watch not out, Garon. To touch it. The wood is more brittle than it looks. I just wanted to get a little from the tap. I'm afraid I can't. This wine has been promised to someone else. Okay, so uh, what we can do is injure the brittle wood. And now there's just wine. The wine now flows freely to the ground. Splattering out. This is going to take a while. I'll just put the carafe under the drip and have a look at the ham while I wait. Fix be thanked. She didn't notice a thing. So now, we are collecting wine, or we have collected wine. Very good. And we can give some wine to Giacomo. Thank you, Geron. Don't mention it. Um, are you going to talk to me now, or...? No, See still you later. not! I can't believe it. Oh, and now I don't have any wine at all? What? That's too bad. I need something to put it in. Geron, what are you mumbling about? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, but, okay, now, the next step is that we can fill this, uh, the hole that was made for the ruby with the wine. The gap in the lid is now full of red wine. And you remember maybe that I tried before to make the guy in the library, in the school, in the magic school, uh, turn the wine into some solid? And he couldn't, because there wasn't any wine in there, which I didn't know. But now we have wine in the lid. We can make it, uh, let him make it a solid. And now that's where the favor comes in, that he owes us. So, yeah. I'm really sorry for looking this up, but I really wouldn't have found out. Because I don't know how long it would have taken me to find out that the wine jar is actually empty. <laughs> Okay, now we can talk to this guy here. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. Okay, good. He doesn't even talk to us before doing the magic trick. Great. One freshly forged ruby for my new best friend. Whatever you're planning to do with it, I suggest you hurry. The effect won't last long. You're only telling me that now? Nice doing business with you. Great. Can it's I me again. Anymore? May the gods be with you all. No. I think that's... Okay. So now we've got the... the... But... Oh! Okay, so we just have fake ruby. The glass box is gone. But we still need more witnesses. Yeah. Even those who can't talk. And that is where I don't have a clue. So 
So I only looked up the ruby stuff and then I turned it off again because I thought, oh well, maybe I can... Uh, I don't need any coals. Okay, maybe I can do this by myself now, but I I honestly don't think so. <laughs> because I suck at this. Okay. Let's see, do we have... Um, I shouldn't show that to him, should I? What if I show it to him and he takes it away from me? No. He has enough counter. Yeah, I thought so. But I need more witnesses. Uh, I don't know how. And I'm surprised that Giacomo didn't talk to us anymore. Um. Now this red trace still kind of. Whatever came through here is capable of climbing. Well, did it maybe go into the well? I don't have... Can I scratch something? There's nothing to cut here. No. Can I use it somewhere else? Can I stab the pigs? I'd only get in trouble again for that. <laughs> again? <laughs> okay. Um... Can I use that on the... on the... oh no. But this irritates me. There's nothing I can do about this. Whatever came through here is capable of... I know. Well, helpless again. What else did we expect? There was nothing else to expect, really. At least we are one step further, because now... Since yeah. everything points to our attacker liking rubies... Here! <laughs> I know where that came from. The theory with the ruby is a bit far-fetched, but I can't think of anything better myself. Okay. Ryder? Hmm? What was wrong with my drawing? There's mm. nothing to be seen. Try to find another witness. But except for Hilda, there wasn't anybody in the clearing. Look around. Maybe we missed something. But what? You want to catch a full-grown demon? You're just a lowly no Pah. I can beat the other novices with one hand tied behind my back. And yes, I want to catch it. And banish it. Of course it's risky. But I'm not going to miss out on the adventure of- Okay, well, I'll look keep around. looking. See you Great. later. Goodbye, and good luck. What is wrong with my thingy? I wonder if one of the petrified people saw the attacker. But how can I find out? It's a good question. Well, I wasn't allowed to use that on them. If these really are petrified people, I need to be careful with my spell. If these really are petrified people, I need to be... But can I not just... Use it to repair them. I only have these four things. How am I supposed to do anything with this? Is there anything in there? Hmm, nothing but junk in there. Hmm? This is the shell the man pressed against the pillars before. I'll take it with me. Oh! Now that's good. Now I can listen to them. Oh, wow. This one hasn't seen anything. Cool. I didn't even know I could... That's amazing. Perfect. He didn't even get a good look at his attacker before he ran away screaming. What a coward. <laughs> well... He's got nothing interesting in his head. Well, I thought the last one might be the most likely, the one that had the mask. But, um... I wonder how we can use the shell and the magician couldn't really. I mean, did he see anything more? 
Or is that going to tell us the same thing? There we go. By the gods, what was that? I'll sketch it right away. Will you? Ha! <laughs> Good. Well. That's great. A good sketch, of course. That's an amazing sketch. But that's that should mean that we've got everything. Cool. So we did find out about that by ourselves. Congratulations to myself. It won't get any more detail than this. Ooh, doesn't have any eyes. Thanks, Garon. That should suffice. Good. Thank God. You need to stand further away. I'm preparing the magic circle now. Okay, now let's get the action started. Where can I go? Okay. Any further? That's not really that much further, but... Is anything gonna happen? What is he doing? How much farther is it? <gasps> what? What, what is it? How much farther? I thought you said something. Hmm? No. Unfortunately, I can only create the basic conditions. I'll only know the right spell when I see the beast. I'm amazed the mob didn't run away from the tent. The attacker probably came out of the woods. To Draconia. How much further is it? This time I heard it too. Oh no. I'm so tired all of a sudden. By the gods, Garen, oh no. the tree! It was here the whole Ugh. time. That's disgusting. Ew, I don't want to look at that. What do you want? Uh. I'm hungry. I need to eat. Well, that's so disgusting. Ew. If I starve before the mask gets to Draconia, you won't see a single shilling. Okay. That sounded like... I Do you understand so. what I'm saying? I'm a child of the city. I don't know my way around here. It's still many miles to Draconia. We've only just begun to climb the mountain. Huh. I have to eat. Give me silver. Silver? The silver platter from the burial chamber. Give it to me. Princess, he seems to be offering you a trade. Do you really want to do that? Well, why not? So, I thought so, because that, at the end, it sounded like Sadia's voice, is that her name? And, well, so now we're back uh, in those days, and I wonder whether the stuff is the tree, or she is it, well, has eternal life, um... Well, okay, let's maybe just have a little look around before we give him anything. A Safsha. Stop cursing me. I suppose the deal is off. I don't have to rely on him. Oh no. I can catch something myself. How come you're suddenly talking again? You've been mute since we left the caves. I was afraid. Afraid? Yes. I was stuck in a dark but safe hole for thousands of years. I don't know who I am, where I come from, where I'm going, and how this is all going to end. In addition, I'm bound to a grim woman who carries what is probably a demonic staff on her back. Of course I'm afraid. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Don't laugh. Whenever I think I've figured you out, you laugh like a perfectly normal woman again. Even the growling of your stomach is that of a plain mortal. It's high time I ate something. What? Your guide has you in the palm of his hand. He knows you'd be lost in this wilderness without him. Just wait and see. I saw an animal's burrow behind the tree. I'll catch whatever lives there Aww. and eat it. <laughs> you little bunny. Well, so apparently it doesn't help to give him the, the platter now. I could hide behind that, but not without good reason. Okay. And then... There's not really anything else. Okay, we can go up the hill there. It doesn't look like it goes uphill there. It looks like a... Okay, so... There's the hole. Oh, 
I don't want to kill it. Come on out, little beast. I need to eat you. You have a way with words, Sherizan. I only lie when I have to. Well, it's not going to come out, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. That probably isn't magic. Okay, well, it's not going to come out. Am I going to go there with the dagger? First, I need to coax it out. But with what? With the staff? There isn't enough room here to build a trap. Can I maybe cut some off? Why did you have to walk all the way around? There are enough twigs strewn about here already. Come on! There would be enough room here for a trap, but I think I'll do it some other way. But can I cut off the... the flowers? That can't be cut. Of course it can, and bunnies love it. How do I get it out there? Can I blind it? I don't even know where I should start. Oh. Well, how's that gonna help, though? Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff in our... in our camp here. Okay, well, so I'm basically taking everything from him. That... How can I make a fire now? I can't. Should I? Hmm. But she didn't want to build a trap. The logs are too blunt to stick in the ground. No. Now that's just uninspired. I know. Um. Well. What if I combine... Let Rahwan tie it up again. Making his bed isn't my responsibility. Oh, okay. Um, how about I cut some of the rope? Better not. Oh. I, I made wood? them pointy. Oh. Okay. One thing at a time. I made them pointy. Maybe I can do something here. Poke it out, or... That won't do as bait. But what will? Not the pelt. First, I need to coax it out. How? The rope? First, I need to coax it... Is there anything else that I'm missing? Oh, this here, the dandelion. Okay, well, I can clearly cut that off. I thought this dandelion was cuttable, but it's not. Perfect. Okay, well, the time is up anyways. Um, again, time just flies by when you have to solve riddles. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching again. And um, we're about to catch a poor little bunny rabbit. I hope you'll come by again next time. See you then. Bye.